Ladies and gentlemen, after discussing multiple planets, Rahu, Ketu, Saturn, Venus, and maybe Mercury and the Dashamsa chart combinations for massive wealth, we are here with the most important planet in Vedic astrology, and that is the moon, Chandrama. Chandrama Manaso Jataha. This is what the scripture says. Moon is the representative or representation of your mind. So the moon is the most important planet. In Vedic astrology, of course, every planet is important. But today we will discuss ten massive wealth combinations, which is uh, which are awarded by none other than this planet Moon. And this you have to see in your date of birth, which is your numerology, and also in astrology. So two two things are in numerology, and the remaining eight I have put from astrology. And you can also add your own opinions. What are some of the other placements that you have seen? in yourself, in your friends and your family, known circles which have given them massive wealth. All right. But before I proceed, please understand, you need to see uh, these placements in the chart and also see the dasha. So if you have these placements or at least uh, four or five of these and your moon mahadasha or moon antara dasha comes, then you can expect wealth or you could try and start your business or, you know, um, your own consultancy or uh, try to get a promotion so that's how you proceed through this okay all right so the first combination or placement as promised from numerology is having the number two multiple times so for example if you are born on 2nd february 2022 <laughs> it's like that uh, but in this you have to exclude the first two digits of the year okay and then uh, you can also have something like, you know, uh, 11th February because uh, 11 is again 2, right? So if you have the number 2 multiple times, then you are very popular. You are loved by people. You will see whoever has 2 multiple times in their net of birth, you will always see they have a very big circle. They have a lot of friends, colleagues, you know, they're like they're, they're in general, they are loved by people very much, okay? Uh, because it's very easy to interact with somebody who has a lot of two in their date of birth. And I can give you some examples. So one example is um, uh, the Indian uh, Prime Minister, ex-Indian Prime Minister, late Prime Minister Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee. He had number two many times in his date of birth. And you can see he was a great poet and a great orator. And he was also India's Prime Minister. And uh, Bollywood superstar, what is his name? Uh, Rajesh Khanna. Right, he also, if you go and check his date of birth, he has two multiple times, okay? And you, know, you can see uh, great Dilip Kumar Saab, he also has this, you know, he has two multiple times, okay? So the more you have two, the more you are likable and that makes you insanely popular, okay? Now, once you have seen this, then the next number two is, suppose you don't have number two multiple times in your date of birth, but your basic or destiny number is two then also you will be very popular. So for example, uh, you are born on 11th and there is no 2 anywhere, okay, in your date of birth, but still that is 2, okay. So then that will also make you very popular. So therefore, uh, if your basic number is 2, then that adds, you know, like uh, 2, 11, <laughs> uh, or, you know, you are born on 29th, then also it is 2. So, if your basic number or destiny number, destiny number is adding the entire date of birth, including the first two digits of the year, everything, whatever is your complete DOB, just add it. And then if it comes to two, then also it's insanely good for name, fame, power, position, popularity. As you know, moon is the queen, basically. So uh, sun and moon, they represent the king and the queen, right? So it gives you royal fame, you know, help from the government and all this, okay? But of course, you will see many people who are basic to or destiny to. It does not mean everybody will be a millionaire. But you have to see their horoscope also. But if you have this, these two, and you have powerful placements in the horoscope, um, you, you will be there. All right. So now, number three, we start astrology now. Moon in the fourth house in Digmal, extremely powerful placement. President Donald G. Trump has this placement, as you know, right? So this is a very powerful placement, Moon in Dikbala. This can give you insane popularity in your homeland, in your motherland. Extremely powerful position. One of the best placements. And 
along with that if moon is aspected by the 10th lord or uh, if it is aspected by the lagna lord i mean even brilliant okay the more the better and depending on the dignity also the power will be enhanced okay so uh, if moon is in the fourth but it is in exaltation then the power is like multi times okay multi fold uh, and therefore you need to add all this so you need to see uh, if uh, moon is receiving aspect of other benefits or you know on the 10th lord 11th lord then the power will be much more but if you have moon in the fourth this can be a phenomenal placement for going into real estate or politics and you know donald trump he's into both the sectors right <laughs> is um, he was the president of the united states of america and he's contesting again this year and he as a very big real estate empire with net worth of i think uh, as of now around 4 billion us dollars okay in 2024 but nonetheless if you have this you are very fortunate then the next placement is exactly the opposite of this which is the 10th house what's there in the 10th house the 10th house is the mid heaven it is the most powerful house of the horoscope in terms of name fame power position authority so if you have this placement then you are born to lead others the whole world can follow you you can be a extremely uh, influential personality and any guesses who has this the india's father of nation uh, shrimatma gandhi ji has this all right now you may like him or you may not you may debate he, what he did was right wrong is non violence ultimate virtue or not i mean we can keep debating on all this people from both the sides of the spectrum exist who like him or who do not like him but the fact of the matter is he was uh, very powerful he was very famous so i am talking from a perspective of name fame okay i am not going into morality or uh, what he did was right wrong you know some other activities that he had uh, but nonetheless if you are only talking of name fame power position authority oh this is a brilliant placement i mean uh, it's like the moon is shining like the sun all right it is one of the best placements also now number 5 this is brilliant but this has to be well supported this in itself is not a, a great placement uh, it's a good placement but not a phenomenal placement which is moon in the 7th house but this has to be well placed so for example if moon is in the 7th and it is exalted or in moon own sign no or in a friend sign and the seventh lord also has to be well placed then this makes you extremely popular in front of the opposite sex and uh, not just opposite sex people in general this is like multiple two or destiny two basic two okay and uh, you have a very high highly powerful aura you have a very attractive aura and you know people just want to be around you and be with you for no reason sometimes but the seventh lord has to be well placed only then this is valid okay now number 6 moon in kendra in your dashamansha chart in your dashamsha chart d10 chart moon has to be in kendra which means 1 4 7 10 so if moon is in the either in the first fourth seventh or 10th house then this can show you will have lot of name fame uh, in your life why because the kendra of the dashamsha shows the planets that will influence you uh, in in the most strongest possible way so therefore if you have moon then uh, moon is a natural benefit uh, although can be partially benefic or partially malefic sometimes depending on the aspects and conjunctions and placements and the house uh, dignity sign dignity but nonetheless if you have this you are likely to be famous when you have moon dasha or if there are other supportive combinations you will be very wealthy and this is guaranteed now number 7 again moon and rahu together but not anywhere moon and rahu conjunct but associating with the 10th house or the 11th house again mahatma gandhi is one example he has moon and rahu together in the 10th house in uh, cancer he is libra lagna so for libra lagna cancer is the 10th house so this is again a phenomenal placement because when moon and rahu are together what happens things appear exaggerated so if both of them are in the 10th house then you know that the name fame is exaggerated okay exaggerated not in a negative sense like oh not i'm not saying that the person gets something which he or she does not deserve 
but it shows you know massive name change you know rahu is the card of explosion so you now if this is in the 10th or 11th oh this is a phenomenal placement okay so you are really lucky if you have this in the 10th or 11th or suppose moon and rahu are sitting somewhere you know in the first house or in the third house second house fourth house any house but they are aspected by either the 10th lord or the 11th lord okay so then uh this is even better or has a equal weightage okay so these are phenomenal placements now number 8 this is another brilliant placement moon connected to jupiter and trines so this is gach kesari yoga but now uh, the trines also have to be involved okay so suppose jupiter and moon are aspecting each other uh, but the fifth lord ninth lord also has to be involved or the houses so for example moon is in the fifth house and jupiter is you know aspecting the moon from somewhere okay or moon is in the ninth and jupiter is aspecting or jupiter moon are conjunct together and the fifth lord or the ninth lord is aspecting them so this is then also this yoga occurs this is known as gach kesari yoga but if the trines are also involved this shows you have blessings from the previous lifetimes okay uh, lakshmi narayan's blessings are there especially lakshmi devi so this means you will get extreme level of support from the society you will just uh, everything will be at your fingertips you just call and the work is done okay you have some friend or you know some relative colleague or somebody or you are married to a very you know influential personality and then you know you have everything in life okay so this this is one of the karakas which can give you a relatively easy going life provided the overall chart supports okay but yes this is not a guarantee for a cake walk okay but in general if the overall chart is good enough and then you have this it shows you just don't have to do much in life it's all it's all done and dusted for you okay <laughs> now number 9 this is a difficult placement but a phenomenal placement for wealth okay which is moon and saturn related to the third sixth tenth or eleventh so these are uh, these are upachya houses and uh, these houses are very powerful if you have moon and saturn in it but they uh, it should not be in a very bad dignity okay so either moon or saturn should not be debilitated they should be in a reasonable good sign why why do i say this because uh, and actually if you see saturn does great in art science right and moon also gets exalted in taurus which is art science so if you have this in an art sign a third sixth tenth or eleventh this is phenomenal this can give you extreme discipline extreme hard work extreme consistency is a bit painful sometimes you might have to work in seclusion and loneliness but it's a phenomenal placement right so don't Uh, ignore this placement and even if life is tough uh, you need to work hard because that's how your karma is and uh, do your best uh, and leave the rest to god but if you work you will get a lot of money especially if this is there in the 10th or in the 11th okay but the third and sixth are also great houses for this placement to be and last but not the least moon venus conjunction anywhere in the horoscope this is known as a gemini raj yoga but in my knowledge i have not seen this working honestly but provided they are in these uh, four houses 5th 9th 10th 11th so if they are connected to these houses then i have seen that uh, this uh, conjunction really works okay but anywhere random i have not seen this working especially if it is in bad houses it can make you you know addict or a womanizer sometimes okay so this is not a great placement for a uh, yeah, married life and you know other areas especially if it is badly placed but suppose moon venus they are very well placed and it is in the 10th 11th 5th or 9th then it is a phenomenal placement and also if uh, moon and venus are conjunct in the navamsha then also this can happen all right so these were 10 conjunctions as i said uh, these are not the end of the world please put it down in the comments what do you think and what are some of the conjunction that you have seen working all right thank you so much for your patience don't forget to subscribe if you are new and don't forget to visit my website for personalized consultations god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him for sure thank you and take care jai sri ram